Welcome to Sports Guy Talking. I am Dustin Tran, your host as I am here today to talk about the Steelers potentially making a shocking run for the NFL playoffs. The Steelers currently have an 8-8 record and are in striking distance to get the number 7 seed in the AFC. With a win next week and some help, the Steelers are going to be the ones that get the number 7 seed in the AFC, which means that they are going to be making the NFL playoffs again if that was to happen. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So, here it is. Will the Steelers get the number 7 seed in the AFC? And my answer to that is that it feels inevitable that they will get that. Now, do the Pittsburgh Steelers need a lot of help? Yes, but do I believe that the help is going to come for the Pittsburgh Steelers? The answer to that is heck yeah. The question is though, can the Pittsburgh Steelers win the remaining game that is left on the schedule? And I really think that they can because they played the Cleveland Browns in week 18. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they already lost to the Browns earlier in the year. I refuse to believe that Mike Tomlin-led team is going to get swept to the Cleveland Browns. I mean, Mike Tomlin, he's one of the better football coaches in all of football. I mean, the fact that the guy has not had a losing season in the NFL, despite the fact that he's been in the NFL for what is now his 16th season in the NFL, it is beyond incredible. I mean, the ability that Mike Tomlin has to get the most out of his teams Really incredible to say, and the fact that Mike Tomlin hasn't really been given stacked rosters to be working with, I mean, that's been really incredible with what Tomlin is. I think that the work that Mike Tomlin has done this year has been extremely underrated. Do you know how hard it is for a rookie quarterback to be leading his team to the NFL playoffs? I mean, come on, got to give him credit where credit is due. I mean, I know Mac Jones did it last year, but he was kind of getting carried. He wasn't really making the fourth quarter comebacks that were needed. Kenny Pickett, although he hasn't played pretty football at times, and he, at times he's been brutally bad, he's been clutch more often than not. Kenny Pickett's got four fourth quarter comebacks. Now, I know some people might roll up their eyes and just say, oh, he's got the defense. Oh, he's got the running game or whatever. But for a guy to be making it four fourth quarter comebacks in his first year as a starter and in this rookie year, you know what? You got to give him tremendous credit for that because Kenny Pickett, he's making the winning plays. I saw the game-winning play that he threw to Najee Harris on the run. If that was Patrick Mahomes that made that throw, if that was Josh Allen that made that throw, it would all be it would be all over Sports Center. And everybody would be saying, "Oh, what a great play by such quarterback right there." I mean, that's exactly what Kenny Pickett did. It looked like he was about to get sacked. Then he escapes the pressure. He rolls to his left. He throws it on the run to his left. He throws it to a striding Knight and Najee Harris in stride on the run. You know what? That's an incredible throw against a tough defense in a hostile environment for any rookie to do that. That's incredible. And the fact that Kenny Pickett's got four fourth quarter comebacks, I got to give the man tremendous credit. And I'm not even a Kenny Pickett fan whatsoever because if you guys saw my old videos on Kenny Pickett, y'all know that I was not that high on Kenny Pickett. I said that his ceiling was Derek Carr and Kirk Cousins. If you guys don't know me, that's that's not really that high to begin with. That means that you're just slightly better than average. But to see what Kenny Pickett's doing, he's kind of looking like a young Big Ben. I'm not saying he is the second coming of Big Ben. But the way that he plays, he's kind of playing like young Big Ben lately in terms of playing ugly football, but you're making the key plays, you're being tough in the pocket, you're making the big throws downfield, and you're being clutch. That's exactly what Kenny Pickett has done, so I just want to give him tremendous credit for that. But as for whether or not the Steelers will get the number 7 seed in the AFC, I mean, you look at the AFC playoff standings right now, right? You look at the spots that are unclinched, the Jacksonville Jaguars, they're the number 4 seed. They have an 8-8 eight and eight record. Okay, and they seem like they're going to win the AFC South, but even if they don't win the AFC South, there is a scenario where they could get the number seven seed, but that would require three teams to lose, which I don't think are going to happen. Now, let me talk about the other spots that are open. You got the New England Patriots at eight and eight. They currently hold the number seven seed. Then you got the Miami Dolphins. They're eight and eight. They're currently the number eight seed. And then you got the Pittsburgh Steelers at nine seed right there. They're, they have an eight and eight record as well. And then you got the Tennessee Titans at seven and nine. They're still in it. I mean, obviously the Tennessee Titans, they're not eligible to get the number seven seed. They're going to have to basically, they're going to have to win out against Jacksonville and just hope that that's going to be the way that it does for them. Because Tennessee right now, they look like they are a decimated football team. They're probably not going to win the AFC South as far as I'm concerned. So the Jacksonville Jaguars, they're going to win their division. They're going to lock up the four seed. So really it comes down to three teams. It's going to come down to the Patriots. It's going to come down to the Dolphins. And it's going to come down to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, look, the New England Patriots, it's simple. Here's what they can do to make the NFL playoffs, okay? The New England Patriots, they either win this Sunday against a tough Bills team in Buffalo, or they got a hope for Miami to lose. They got a hope for Pittsburgh to lose. And they got a hope for Jacksonville to win their game. 
if all that happens okay new england patriots they get the number seven seed but that's probably not going to happen because i think the new england patriots they're going to lose their game to buffalo i mean the bills they're just a really good football team so that's going to make their playoff hopes a lot harder okay and then you look at what the miami dolphins need okay the miami dolphins they need a win and then they need a new england patriot loss i think the loss is going to come for them but if you look at the miami dolphins they're on a five game losing streak right now not only that they don't have two uh, quarterback they don't even have Teddy Bridgewater quarterback potentially too because Bridgewater's got a broken finger. So that means they got to start a seventh round rookie named Skylar Thompson. He's not very good when he's been on the field. I know he threw a late touchdown against the Patriots yesterday, but let's keep it real. He's a seventh round rookie. And he's going up against a tough Jets defense, albeit they're on a five game losing streak. But the Jets defense, they got dogs on there as far as I'm concerned. They got playmakers. So that's going to be tough for any quarterback to succeed in that kind of situation so you know what i think that the miami dolphins they're not going to win their game and then you look at what the pittsburgh steelers need all right the pittsburgh steelers they need to win their game and they need the patriots to lose and dolphins to lose now i just declared to y'all that the new england patriots they're not going to beat the buffalo bills and i also believe that the miami dolphins are not going to beat the new york jets even though the jets have quarterback troubles just because the dolphins are going to potentially be starting their third string quarterback or a concussed to a tongue of Valoa. So when you look at it from that perspective, I don't think the Patriots and the Dolphins are going to win their games. So the Pittsburgh Steelers, they just got to beat the Cleveland Browns, a team that they've always been able to beat at least one time a year. And they're going to be playing in Pittsburgh. I can't see how the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to lose a must-win game. And look, these players, they play hard for Coach Tomlin. Coach Tomlin, he's never had a losing record in his career I don't think that narrative is going to be changing anytime soon. So I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to win that game. They might even win that game comfortably because the Cleveland Browns, they're not a playoff team. And honestly, they're not that good. Don't worry about the fact that they beat the Commanders by 14 yesterday. That was more of a choke job by Carson Wentz, which speaking of Carson Wentz, that guy should not be a starting quarterback in the NFL next year. He's not a very good quarterback. I mean, look, I know that he's got a cannon for an arm and he can throw deep, but man, his accuracy and his leadership skills are terrible and he cannot get terry mcglore on the ball for any reason but that's neither here nor there i'm here to talk about the pittsburgh steelers so the, i got the pittsburgh steelers beating the cleveland browns and they're probably going to do so comfortably and even if they don't beat them comfortably you know what i'm going to trust kenny pickett to get the job done in the fourth quarter he's going to make that fourth quarter comeback okay and the pittsburgh steelers defense we know what they're all about the pittsburgh steelers defense with tj watt they are a wild wild team they know what they're doing they know how to play defense especially in that pittsburgh cold they're going to win their game and they're going to get the help they need from not one but two different games in pittsburgh they're going to be the team that ends up making the playoffs at nine eight if this doesn't sound familiar to you just remember last year how pittsburgh steelers they needed to win their game and then they needed the colts to lose to the worst team in the national football league and that's exactly what happened so why can't the pittsburgh steelers get help from another team yet again you can never count out the Pittsburgh Steelers whatsoever. And that's why I was saying Pittsburgh Steelers, they're going to have a winning record. They're going to be very competitive this year. I said this back in the summer when a lot of people were saying that the Pittsburgh Steelers, they were going to be having a down year and they're going to struggle. I said the Pittsburgh Steelers, they're going to be just fine because they know how to play defense and they got an elite coach. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of the quarterback situation, but they're making it work. They got the running backs. They got the receivers. They got the tight end. Offensive line, yeah, it's a work in progress, but it's getting better. And the defense is elite. The head coach is elite. The organization is elite. So when I look at this Pittsburgh Steelers team, I think they're going to be a playoff team for sure. They're going, they're going to beat the Browns. The New England Patriots are going to lose to the Buffalo Bills. And the Miami Dolphins are going to lose to the New York Jets. Combined with all those games happening for them. And I also think the Jaguars are going to win their game too, just for the record. But combined with all that, that means Pittsburgh Steelers, they're going to get the seventh seed. That means they're going to make the NFL playoffs again. And we got to commend Coach Tomlin for this. Mike Tomlin, he's done a tremendous job for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, this is why we always say he's a top five coach in the National Football League because his ability to get the most out of his rosters that's really incredible what he's been doing got to give him tremendous credit also got to give tremendous credit to kenny pickett the man has stepped up he's been clutch for them got to give him this due got to give him credit where credit is due so that is why the pittsburgh steelers will end up stealing the number seven seed in the afc in order to make the nfl playoffs this season remember go ahead and subscribe to sports guy talking like the video and please comment down below if you guys do that i may shout you guys out in my instagram story every monday that'll be for the at dustin s tran instagram account make sure to follow me on instagram at dustin s tran and at sports guy talking also go follow me on twitter at dustin s tran again go ahead and do those things that i just told you guys to go do hopefully you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced
Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.